So the other day I uploaded a Fire King Tri Brigade deck profile to the channel and all of you guys in the comments were asking for a combo video. So that's what we're doing in today's video. I'm going to be showing you guys some combos that you need to know to play this deck competitively in today's format. Now, one thing I will say before we get into the combos though, is I want to give a big shout out to Aurora YGO. Aurora is one of the first channels that I watched when I checked out how this deck can be played, how to build the deck, etc, etc. And I wanted to give him a big shout out because he does deserve some credit. Now, of course, with these combos, you guys are going to be learning some of the one to two card combos and i really want to show you guys how powerful this deck can really be and how well it synergizes together so with that being said i don't want to take up too much of your time but make sure to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already and with that let's get right into some combos okay so for our first combo over here it's essentially just a 1.5 card combo and the reason i say that is because you need a ponix and any tri beast card over here so any beast warrior any wing beast any beast anything works here as long as it's a tri beast and then ponix essentially is the most important card in your hand and then the other three cards over here can be consistency pieces you can open a sanctuary you can open a tanky you can open hand traps you can open a called by the grave so the other three cards i just want to simulate them here however they can be anything in your hand all you need is a ponix and a tri beast so what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your ponix and you're going to activate its effect it's going to let you search a fire king spell or trap and of course here we are going to search our fire king sanctuary now keep in mind if you open sanctuary in your hand then it doesn't really matter like you you have you can search a circle you can search a sky burn either way but in this case we're going to be searching the sanctuary of course we're going to be activating the sanctuary to be able to get to our fire king island okay and that's really important because fire king island is actually going to be able to start off essentially all of our combos now fire king island we're going to activate its effect it can destroy a fire king monster from our field or from our hand in this case we're going to destroy the ponix on our field and it's really important that you destroy ponix because you're going to be activating its effect later but because we destroyed the ponix we're also going to be able to search off of our fire king island and the card we're going to want to search is our sacred fire king garunix now garunix is going to get to trigger because on resolution it knows that a card got destroyed so we're going to be able to special summon our garunix from our hand to our side of the field and then activating its effect to destroy a monster from our hand or our side of the field specifically a fire monster and the card we're actually going to want to destroy is our tri brigade kit and that's how this deck essentially synergizes so well with each other because now we're going to be able to destroy kit activate kit effect and kit is going to be able to send a nerval from our deck to our graveyard now that nerval is in our graveyard we can activate our nerval to now search any tri brigade name now keep in mind if you open something like a keras here then you can search a fractal for later but in this case we're just going to search a keras because we do need an extender all right so at this point we have our keras we have our arvada in our hand or any tri beast name and the reason you need the tri beast is because you want to use keras effect here by pitching this card over here whatever card in your hand to summon the keras now, Keras effect, what you're going to do is you're going to banish two. So in this case, you're probably going to want to banish Kit and our Nerval. It doesn't really matter which two you banish except the Ponix. You never want to banish the Ponix, but you banish the Kit and the Nerval in this case over here. And we're going to be able to special summon a Link 2 monster. And the Link 2 monster we're going to want to summon here is our Bear Brum. Now, the reason we want to summon Bear Brum is because we actually want to use its effect later on to be able to get to our Revolt. So we're going to actually do that now. What we're going to do is we're going to link one, two, and three cards away. Keep in mind, this is a Link 2. So we're going to link all three away to summon our Apollosa. Now our Apollosa has three negates on it so it's going to have three counters here which is really good because now you have three monster negates with just a single card and then we're going to be able to activate Bear Bum in our graveyard to be able to now get to a tri brigade revolt so we're going to be able to search the tri brigade revolt and then it's going to make you put a card back into your deck so that's uh that's not important that's why we have the other three cards over here and then we're going to be able to set a revolt and our pass our turn now this might not sound crazy we still have two cards in our hand but during the standby phase ponix has a really powerful effect after this card is destroyed essentially you can add it from your graveyard to your hand so it's going to replenish itself which is really nice here giving you an extra card in your hand so you're going to end on three cards in your hand you end on an apollosa as well as uh, your Tri Brigade Revolt over here, all right? So we're gonna put this over here just for zone's sake. I kind of want to show you guys. And uh, yeah, so this might look pretty basic, but this is actually really powerful. The reason this is really powerful is because you're gonna be able to do multiple things on your opponent's turn. First of all, you have three disruptions here. You can activate your Revolt. Once you activate your Revolt, you can summon back any number of the Tri Beasts and you're gonna be able to make like a Shureg. So once you, let's say you make Shureg here, let's let's just go and say you, you go something like that, right? Like you summon four, you make Shureg, you use the Nerval on the kit. You're gonna be able to activate the Nerval on the kit you're going to be able to search 
search your uh, fractal for next turn, etc., etc. So you guys can kind of imagine why this can get really good because once you start going, you can summon, normal summon your Ponix again. You can get your Fire King Island effect again, search another Garunix, and then this is kind of how you're going to try to push for game because this is going to be able to now summon itself and then you can go for there, right? So at this point, you're going to be trying to push for game on your turn three, but on your turn one, you really want to set up a basic board with as much recursion as possible so that your follow up on your turn three is absolutely insane, right? So this is just your first most basic two card combo. So for the next combo here, it's essentially the same combo start with a Ponix and a Tri-Beast, but specifically you are opening Tri-Brigade Kit. Now Tri-Brigade Kit in your hand unlocks so much more potential because now we don't have to destroy it from our deck with our card effects. We can destroy it right from our hand, right? So we're going to show off this combo here, starting off with Ponix. We're going to activate its effect on summon, searching a Sanctuary, activating a Sanctuary to search our Fire King Island. Very standard with your normal summon of Ponix. Again, if you open one of these, you're good to go regardless, but with this combo, of course, we're just pretending like we're not opening anything. So at this point, you know, Sanctuary, Fire King Island, activate Fire King Island effect. We're not going to pop the Ponix this time though. This time we're actually going to pop the Tri Brigade Kit. The reason we want to pop Kit is because we're going to be able to do multiple things. So first thing we're going to do is Fire King Island is going to resolve to search our Garunix. Then we're going to be able to go Chain Link 1 Kit, Chain Link 2 Garunix. Garunix will summon itself onto the field. Kit will get to dump another card. So we're going to dump our Nerval. Now on a separate chain, we're going to be able to activate our Nerval as Chain Link 1 and then our Garunix is chaining two, destroying a fire monster from our deck. This time, we don't have to actually destroy the kit. We can destroy a Bearong. Now, Bearong is important because you guys will see why later, but Bearong does have a really powerful effect on the next standby phase. You can search one from deck and that's going to be really powerful. And then Nerval, of course, here is going to trigger. But instead of adding Keras this time, of course, if you have another Tri-Beast, you guys can add Keras. But in this case, we're going to actually add our Fractal because we do need to get another monster on our side of the field. And we're going to assume we have no other extender. So what we're going to do now with our Garunix as well as our Ponix is we're going to link them two away and then we're actually going to be able to summon our link to Fergie. Now, Fergie is really important to summon here because we do need to get an extra body on our side of the field. How we're going to do that? By activating its effect to special summon our Fractal from our hand to our side of the field. Now, at this point, we're going to activate our Fractal, banishing the Nerval as well as the Kit. These are the two that I like to typically banish. But here, what we're going to do is we are going to summon our Bear Brom. Now, at this point, it's pretty similar to the last combo. We're going to use one, two, and three to make our Appaloosa for three, right? So we're going to use these three to summon uh, Appaloosa. And then now once Appaloosa is on our side of the field, what we can do is we can trigger our Bear Brum. You can also trigger Fergie if you have cards in your hand that you guys don't want to have. You can trigger the Fergie, but at this point, all we really need to trigger is our Bear Brum so that we can get a revolt to our hand, putting any card from our hand to the bottom of the deck, doesn't matter what it is. And then we're going to be able to set our revolt. Now we're going to end on turn our turn like this. And this might sound crazy because okay, well, Spanko, you said you use the kit and kit's going to unlock a lot of combos, but it's the same exact end board, but it's going to actually be a little bit different. So of course, we're going to have a revolt set. So I'm going to set a revolt over here. And on our opponent's standby phase, we're actually going to get to activate the bear on. Now, why this is really powerful is because instead of just adding a Ponix back to our hand, we're actually going to be able to add Fire King High Avatar Kieran. Now, Kieran is really powerful because it's going to act like another form of disruption on your opponent's turn, which you guys will see in a second. But let's just say we're going to pass it off to our opponent. Our apple over here has three disruptions. All right, so we're passing it off to our opponent whatever whatever they start making combos you're going to activate your revolt and at this point you don't want to summon both of these back okay you're only going to want to summon the nerve all back as well as any other three targets you want to have one banished at all times and i'll show you guys why you want to have one banished later but at this point we're going to summon our nerve all and then three more cards and then we're going to link them all away so it's going to be four total and we're going to be able to summon our shurik now at this point you're going to be able to activate the shurik banish a card you're also going to be able to activate the nerve all that went to the graveyard to search a card from our deck to our hand now at this point you can search fractal you can also search kit doesn't really matter as long you as you search one of them because you need the fire so let's just search kit doesn't doesn't really matter right we're just going to search one of them because the reason you need to search one of them is you need a fire monster for your kieran to resolve later right so now at any point in the turn what you can do is you can activate your kieran special summon it by destroying our kit and then because kieran was summoned and another fire monster was destroyed you can now summon our garunix back from our graveyard you can activate the garunix in the graveyard to summon it back to your side of the field right and now you guys might be wondering why does all this matter why are we summoning all of these big bodies they're not really doing anything for us we're just summoning all these bodies but now because garunix was summoned we're actually going to be able to activate its effect again to destroy a fire king monster or a fire monster and at this point you can destroy our vada so once you destroy our vada our vada effect will trigger to summon another one from your graveyard so at this point you can summon your bearong back from your graveyard and you can hold here now at any point after this you banish your opponent's cards you have all your apple in the gates let's say you use them all it doesn't really matter if they special summon another monster you can activate your sanctuary effect 
to overlay these two to make your Grunix Eternity. Now, Grunix Eternity on summon destroys all monsters on the field, okay? It's not just you control, it's not like your opponent controls, destroy all monsters on the field. And the reason you want to do it this way, and the reason we summon Barong is so we can use Barong again on the standby phase, which is really powerful because it's going to be able to search you a card. A lot of time you're going to be able to search Eponix off this on your standby phase, which is really powerful. So now you've board wiped them. And now what you've been able to do because they've been board wiped is you're going to also be able to use a Shureg because Shureg went to the graveyard. Now that's the reason we have why we had one card banished because now when we activate Shureg, we can actually search a card from our deck to our hand. Now, because Barong has the effect, like I mentioned earlier, that you can search any other Fire King card from your deck to your hand, you can actually either search at this point with the Shureg, your Ponix, but you're most likely going to search that with your Barong anyways. So you can actually just search in this case, a Nerval. Doesn't really matter what it is, but you can search a Nerval because you're gonna be able to search a level one. If you're playing DD Crow, if it's post side, you can search DD Crow as well, which is really nice. And then of course, once it passes back to you, cause you've cleared the opponent's board multiple times at this point with the Shureg, with the Apple, with this, it's gonna be able to come back to you. You're gonna draw a card for a turn, doesn't matter what you draw. And then Bayrong is gonna be able to activate to search a Ponix. And now you guys can see why this is so powerful, right? Because here you can normal summon Ponix again, search another Fire King card, etc., etc. You can use Fire King Island, pop a card, summon Garunix backs, and you guys can see how you can push for game that way so there's so many different power plays with this deck just because you're able to set up your turn one very simplistically but on turn three you're going to be able to go for otk pretty much every single time so for the last combo i really want to give a shout out to aurora because i didn't see this combo anywhere else on youtube other than aurora's channel so big shout out aurora again but this combo essentially is fractal plus any tri beast doesn't matter which one it is the only reason i'm using ring Bali is it's the only one that doesn't do anything so i'm just using this as like a dead card but of course if it's a card that will activate in the graveyard it can be even better but in this case we're going to be using rang bali and any three cards in your hand of course right so it is a combo that requires fractal plus any other card so of course like any other tri brigade deck will do you're going to activate a fractal and you are going to be able to send a kit from your deck to the graveyard then you're going to activate your kit to send the nerval and then you're going to activate the nerval to add a Keras, okay? So this is crazy because you already have three names in the graveyard, which is absolutely insane. We're also gonna be able to use a Keras here by pitching a Rang Bali. And that's really important because you do need the fourth name. What we're gonna be able to do now because Keras is on our side of the field, keep in mind, we still have our normal summon at this point, right? But we're gonna be using our Keras effect for four. So we're banishing literally all four cards from our graveyard so that we can summon an Omen. Now at this point, Omen doesn't have anything to banish, right? There's nothing to banish with the Omen, but it doesn't matter. The, the only reason you're summoning the Omen here is because you wanna link it off and you wanna get its effect to search here right so we're going to be able to use these two to summon our bear brum and then what you're going to be able to do is activate a shureg to search a ponix right because now it can search any wing beast beast or beast warrior up to level four at this point it doesn't matter you just need the ponix to your hand because you're going to be able to use it now now at this point you still have your normal summon so what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your ponix and then what you're going to be able to do is activate its effect so that you can search your sanctuary activate your sanctuary to be able to activate your Fire King Island directly from your deck to your side of the field. Now, at this point, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna activate our Bear Brum to pitch two cards from our hand to special summon one monster from our banished pile. And the one we're gonna to wanna to summon is Kit. Honestly, it could also be Fractal or Nerval. Doesn't really matter as none of them really activated their effects. The only reason I like going for Kit is because it's the fire. It could also be Fractal as well, like a fire because it synergizes with the rest of the stuff, but it doesn't matter what it is, right? So in this case, what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate our Kit now to banish two. So you're gonna banish the Keras as well as the Omen from your graveyard so that you can summon your Farajeet onto your side of the field. And honestly, before you even summon the Ponix, what you could do is you can summon the Farajeet first. You can do that effect first and then be able to special summon the Ponix. But it doesn't matter because at this point, you still haven't used your normal summon. So it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But what you want to want to do now is you're going to be able to activate the Fire King Island, destroying the Ponix to search a sacred King Garunix or Fire King Garunix, I should say. And then Fire King Garunix is going to be able to trigger to summon itself onto the side of the field, destroying a card from our deck. And in this case, we're going to destroy Barong so that we can search a Kirin like in our last combo, right? So we're going to be able to destroy the Barong here, which is really nice because it's going to be able to set us up. We've also destroyed Ponix, which is really nice because it's going to get itself back to our hand. And then what we're going to be able to do is we're going to actually be able to use Kit and Garunix to make our IP Mascarena. Now, the crazy thing about this is Bear Brum typically locks you in when you're searching for Revolt. You're actually not locked into Tri Brigade Extra Deck Monsters. You can still go into any Extra Deck Monster and IP Masquerina being the best one. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to use these two and link them away. Once you link these two away, you can make Apollosa, okay? And uh, if you guys ever ask why I'm putting Apollosa here and not on top of the IP, it's just because you don't want to randomly play into a Mech Knight player and then that's... Uh, pretty sad after that so you don't want to do that now what you're going to do is because you linked off with the bear brum over here you can actually now activate the bear brum effect remember how earlier i was talking about you weren't locked because you didn't search yet well now it doesn't matter so you're going to want to search and the card of course you're going to want to search for is your tri brigade revolts 
And then at this point, you can set your revolt and end your turn. So let's just say here we end our turn. We're going to our opponent's standby phase. Our opponent's standby phase, you can go chain link one Bearong to search, chain link two Ponix to add. So Ponix is going to add itself back to your hand. And then Bearong is going to be able to search a Kirin from your deck to your hand. I should also mention with the Bear Bomb, you got to put the last card back in the bottom of your deck. Okay, so the only two cards in your hand right now are your Ponix and your Kirin. And then on your opponent's turn, you're going to have here two Apple Negates. So let's say you use a two, you then choose to go Revolt. You can summon four monsters monsters back you can use all four monsters summon your omen over here so you summon your shureg and then when you summon your shureg what you can do is you can banish a card so nerval goes to the graveyard to search another card and at this point you can search anything doesn't really matter what you search because you've used all these you can use your ip mascarina with your apo Again, this is all on your opponent's turn, right? So multi two disruptions on the Apo, a third disruption on your Shureg, and then you're gonna be able to make Unicorn over here. If you guys have SP Little Knight, obviously you guys make SP Little Knight. I don't have SP Little Knight, so we're going Unicorn. And then Unicorn, we're gonna be able to pitch a card, shuffle a card back. So that's now four disruptions, which is absolutely insane. And then you can still have the Kirin over here by using the Kirin to special summon itself, destroying the Ponix. I know I'm going a little bit fast here, but you guys can kind of see how it goes, right? Kirin, Pop Ponix, summon itself, and then Garunix will be able to summon itself onto the side of the field because a card was popped. Garunix will activate now. You can summon your Arvada, which is really nice. Arvada, of course, will then trigger summoning back your Bearong. It's kind of like the last combo where just everything kind of gets itself to into each other. And then what you can do is, you know, worst case scenario, if your opponent is still going after all of this and you, they special summon another monster, you can go boom into here, destroy all of these cards again, and you guys can kind of see where it goes, right? At this point, you still have one banished because you have your Omen. So Omen then on your turn, or because it was sent to the graveyard, I should say, will then be able to search a Ponix. And then Bearong was also destroyed off of your Eternity. So Bearing is also going to be able to search on the next standby phase. So you guys can see there are multiple disruptions, multiple ways to OTK, and they're all just like 1.5 card combos. Doesn't really matter what the other three cards in your hand are. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Those were some combos that you need to know to play Fire King Tri Brigade in today's format at a competitive level. Now, keep in mind the thing with this deck is there are so many different synergies. So while I showed you guys some combos today, there's probably a lot more combos that I still haven't even gone through. And that's how powerful this deck can really be. It has so much synergy within each other. And honestly, in different formats, you can probably just switch out the non-engine. And then this way you're gonna be able to compete and adjust for other formats. But the actual core of the deck doesn't really need to change much. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you guys haven't already, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We are uploading every single day, seven days a week in the month of December. So make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned into all of that. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, it's Bangkok signing up. Peace.